Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change out the KitchenAid dishwasher side mounting bracket kit. It's gonna be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're gonna get the instructions, three screws, and two mounting brackets. The side mounting bracket kit is used to mount the dishwasher to the side of the cabinet when you can't mount it to the countertop. In order to change the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet. First thing we're gonna do is open up the dishwasher door and remove the Phillips screws that hold it in. Now that we have the screws removed from the dishwasher, we can go underneath the cabinets and remove the supply lines. First thing that we're going to do is remove your dishwasher drain line, follow it up to wherever it goes and remove the clamp. We're going to use a 5 16 on ours. Make sure that when you take these off, that you have some towels around. Both the water line and the drain line might put some water out. Next thing we have to do is remove the fill line. It's usually connected to the hot water tap. And of course, we already had that shut off and the power disconnected from earlier. But now we need to remove the line and we can take it off with a 5 8 inch wrench. Now that we have the lines disconnected from underneath the sink, we can lift up the dishwasher door and carefully pull the dishwasher out until you can see the frame. Then you can grab that, pull it the rest of the way out so we can change out the brackets. If you're installing the side mounting bracket kit because you can't screw it into the hard countertop, first thing we have to do is remove the mounting brackets that came with it. There's little locking tabs on the back. We're going to bend them straight with the pliers and then we can pull it out of the frame. Here's the old mounting brackets next to the new side mounting bracket kit. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. We did have to clean off the paint off of this little channel right here in this corner right here because it made it too tight for the brackets to fit on the new machine. If your bracket won't fit into the mounting spot, you may have to remove the extra paint in the little channels. You can take it out with a razor blade. The side mounting bracket kit, like the name says, is located on the side of the dishwasher. About six inches down, there's a little slot in the channel. So we're going to put the side mounting bracket kit in. When you're putting the brackets in, you want to make sure that on the left side the locking tab goes up and on the right side it goes down so you get a, the proper fold in there. All you have to do is put the top half in and then rotate it down so the bottom goes in. And then we can grab a pliers and lock it in place. All you have to do is bend the tab on the back. Once you have it locked in, then you have to decide if you can use this hole right here that they put in there, or if you'll have to break it off and drill your own hole. Uh, on this particular design, there's actually a plastic cap right here that you can take off to drill a hole through and then put the screw through. But you'll have to push the dishwasher in to find out if you can use this or not. In our case, this is why we have to break it off because there's no way we can put the screw through the side of the door panel. So what we have to do on our model, we have this plastic cap that we can take off and drill a hole through to put it in. So depending upon your model, there may be several variations of how this thing is installed. If your model is like ours and you have to break off the tab in order to mount it, you're going to have to take a couple pliers and grab the bracket and then twist it off and remove this part. Once you have it off, we can put it onto the dishwasher. On the right side, we have to put the bracket on just like the left. We're going to take this little cover out of the hole since we know we're going to use it. Once we have it out, we can put the bracket in. Remember, on this side, you want to make sure that the tab goes down. You can put the bottom in and rotate it up. Once you have it in, we can bend up the tab to lock it in place just like the other side. 
Then we can push it back in and drill the hole so we can secure it to the cabinet. Whether you're using the original hole in the bracket or if you broke it off and removed these covers, it's important that you pre-drill the holes so you don't crack the wood in the cabinet. On this design, since we're drilling holes in the brackets, we're going to pull it out a little bit and we're going to drill the holes that we drilled a little bit bigger so that when we put the screws through, they go very easily through the bracket but stay in the counter. Now we can do the one on the other side. Now that we have the holes enlarged, we can push the dishwasher back into the cabinet, line up the holes we just drilled with the holes in the cabinets, and then we can put the screws in to mount it in place. Before we put the screws in, you want to pull the lower rack out and put a rag down around the pump and motor assembly. You want to make sure that the screw doesn't fall down into the pump in case you drop it. Then we can take a Phillips screwdriver and put the screws in. Once you have the screw in, we can put the cap back on. Once you have the screw secured, you can put the cap on this side. Now that we have both the screws installed, we can reach in and pull the rag off the pump. Now we can close the dishwasher door and go underneath the sink and connect the lines. We're going to hook up the water line and use our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down. Then we can hook up the drain line back up to the air gap. All you have to do is push it on and tighten down the clamp using your 5 16 nut driver or screwdriver. Now they have everything done underneath the sink, you can turn the water back on, plug it in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.